Hey guys, today I'm back again with another uh, video. I basically went to Ulta and a couple different places, bought some stuff and I didn't try, I never tried them before except like two things I think that I've tried. The majority of them are new and I've never, I don't know what they're gonna look like. So I just wanted to do a first impression on camera with all those things and try them. And if I don't like them, you guys are gonna know. And if I like them, you guys are also gonna know. So I already did my base. We did another uh, video for that and I will link it down below. So let's get into it. For my concealer today, I was at Ulta and many people always talk to me about this concealer. It's the NYX HD concealer. It's not a new product, I just never bought it because I've always had like a couple concealer and those are those concealers I they are my ride or die. I will always be faithful to them. I'm gonna try that concealer for the first time and I'm going to apply it and hopefully um, but also I was at Walmart, I saw this brush, it's a it's like a buffing brush and I've always like been looking for a brush like this to blend my concealer so we're gonna also try this brush today I'm literally putting a little bit I don't know why but I always like to do like funny little designs with my concealer <laughs> And I'm putting a little bit here, right here, and at that here. Yay! I look weird. <laughs> so I'm just gonna take this brush right here and blend it. I don't like to put a lot of concealer like most people do. Don't get me wrong, do whatever to go your pickle. If you like a lot of concealer, go ahead. But for under my eye, due to, due to the fact that I have severe lines I cannot put a lot of stuff like under my eyes and by the way the the number of this concealer is seven number seven so it's not bad I didn't want it to be too light I really like this brush right now I like how easy it's blending everything on my face it's not like most brushes were like taking away the product. I don't, that one is not doing that. And the brand for this brush is Kaki. I, I hope I'm saying that right. Kaki Professional. And I'm gonna take my beauty blender and blend the edges of everything. What have you guys been up to? I always like to know because I wanna know, I would love to know where you guys are watching me from. So please say something about yourself down there. like where you're from or how did you see my how did you get to watch my video i hate it it's really smooth it's a little bit tacky and the color is not bad I like the coverage it's super light and i didn't go overboard like i said because i don't that's not what i go for i'm going to set my under eye using the number seven powder which this is i used that one before i'm not gonna lie I used this powder before and i really enjoy it and this little brush by um, Japanese it's like doing the best work you can think of like also take that big Japanese powder brush and I go over my face with this and I take the excess under my eye because I don't like when it's too bright for my bronzer today I'm going with the elf blush palette in dark and the colors when i saw those i was like so amazed by the color selection and i also like the fact that it has such a big mirror and it was so affordable this was only six dollars so i couldn't pass out on that i had to get it i know it's a blush palette but i'm gonna use it as my bronzer today i'm using another japanese brush and i really love this mirror and I'm taking this one, that one right here, with this one right here. And I'm mixing them together and using it as a bronzer. Look at that. I know it's a little bit pink, but lately I've been really 
loving the look of a pink or a pinky undertone kind of bronzer because I feel like it's so beautiful. I saw someone rocking like a blush as a bronzer and I thought it was the most beautiful thing. So that's what I'm doing right now. By the way, this is not too pigmented, which I like because I don't, you don't want to go overboard easily. So I like the fact that I'm able to build it as I go. My blush today, I'm going with CoverGirl True Blend Blush. I, I'm so sorry guys, I don't know, um, this is it right here, but I don't know what the color is. I don't know what the name is for, the, for this color. I think when I was opening it, when I got home, when I opened it, I ripped the name of it. So, but if you guys want to know, this is what it looks like, just in case. Um, so you guys can have like a better overview of the color and you guys can go pick it out if you're wondering. But for my blush brush, I've been loving this little Kabuki brush by Ulta and I take a little bit of the blush and I'm just gonna put it right here and I like how it's depositing the color at the same time it's blending it so I like the finish that it's giving me for my eyes I'm not gonna do anything crazy I'm gonna use the same palette the same um, palette I'm gonna and I'm gonna go with this color right here and put it like all over my my crease area so we're just taking it adding a little bit of warmth this is another one of those cocky professional brush um, I really like how it's blending and for my lid color from I'm gonna go with this one right here and take my finger and just Put it all over my lid like nothing too fancy today we're just <laughs> we're just using whatever we have and making the best of it I'm going again with that same blending brush and blending everything for my waterline I when I saw this green pencil it's by NYX in the color golden olive I fell in love I'm just gonna do a little swatch for you guys. I thought it was the most beautiful thing, so um, yeah, I really like that color. It's like an earthy, golden, greenish color. I'm just gonna take this one and put it on my, on my bottom lash. The green is gonna make the brown of my eyes. <laughs> I know I always say that but the green always make the brown of someone's eyes pop. I'm going to do my wing liner and apply my lashes. I'll be back for you guys. Hi guys, I'm back and I did my eyes um, and applied my lashes. For my wing liner, I went with the Essence Gel Liner and for my lashes, I went with the Salon Perfect number 614. Um, those are the lashes right there. Like a box of them, you get them at Walmart for like $8. I'm just gonna finish the rest of my makeup with you guys. So, I also went with a new product that I'm trying. It's, and I really like it. I don't know if you guys can see my lashes. My bottom lashes are like so pretty. And I use the Wet n Wild Mega Length Waterproof Mascara. It's this one right there. And I also saw um, one of my favorite youth were trying it. And they said they really liked it due to the fact that the brush is so small, it's so tiny, and it's able to grab every single lash. And I love the effect. Like, I don't know if you guys can see, but I really like the effect that it gives. <sighs> this is like my third layer, and it's so... I love it. It's so pretty. And for my highlight today, I'm going with the Becca palette. This one right here in Sun Chaser. I've never tried it or anything like that, so I thought it was so pretty. It was recently on sale um, at Ulta and I decided to pick it out. I'm gonna go with this highlight right here. I'm taking the e.l.f. small staple brush right there. So I'm just taking a little bit on my brush right there and I'm just gonna just gonna 
like, oh my god, that's intense. Oh, I did not expect that. Oh my goodness. That's in oh. That is intense, guys. I don't know if you guys can see it. Oh my goodness. I'm gonna have to blend that. Ugh, this is way too much highlight for the makeup that I'm doing today. <laughs> I really like the color. That it's like a champagne color. I'm gonna take this brush right here and I'm going to put it on top of my nose and on my cupid's bow. So. I'm gonna take my beauty blender right here and blend everything to make it more seamless. And whatever is left on my sponge, I'm just putting it right here. For lipstick, I'm I'm not sure what I want to go with. Um, I don't know if I should. With, I feel like with those eyes, you can do anything. You can do um, a nude lip. You can do a bold lip, but. Like always, I'm gonna choose to go bold and daring. <laughs> and I'm using um, the Tartius Lip Paint and an Acid Wash. And for my lip liner, I'm using the Urban Decay in Alkaline. This one right here. Oh, that's so pretty. Yeah, this is gonna go so perfectly with the eyes that I did. Even though it's summertime, I'm always like rocking like a fall lip. I love dark lipsticks. <laughs> I'm just gonna take the lipstick and apply it. Oh my goodness. Oh my god. <laughs> ah. I saw um, my sister wearing this lipstick and I was like I have to get it because it's so beautiful it looks so beautiful on her and she was wearing a top that matches the same that was she was wearing a lipstick that was the same color as her top and I was like I have I mean I'm not gonna wear that color we all know that I only wear black and white but I had to get that lipstick I had to I am, and this is the finished look. Um, I really, really like the lipstick. I know, even though it's summer, I'm always like rocking a dark lipstick to match my soul. <laughs> I would love it so much. Literally, right now, it's sunny and it's raining. Like, really, Florida? The only brand that I use for setting spray is the Pearlescence brand, this one. And as you guys can see, like I'm almost done with this one right here. But don't worry, I have a backup. But I went and I got this Mint and Bamboo Tonic Water. And you can basically apply it on top of your makeup too. So I'm gonna try it for the first time to set my makeup. Oh my god, it smells like mint, but it's not too overwhelming or anything like that. I don't like the smell of mint, but I had to get it because it's from Pearlescent. This is the finished look, guys. Hopefully you guys had fun watching this video the same way I had fun filming it for you. Please subscribe to my channel. <laughs> I upload once a week. Thank you, and I'm so grateful from the bottom of my heart. So yeah, guys, hopefully you guys like the look. If you recreated, please make sure to... Um, tag me on Instagram or send me a picture <laughs> and leave me a comment down below on what was your favorite product on this entire look. So I'm looking forward to that.